Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Libra. Okay. Well, look. <laughs> Judgment. And this card literally says renewal. So, hopefully this means that you are overcoming some type of heartbreak. I just heard a situation ship. So you are assessing and evaluating the situation. You are finding the strength right now to um, sort of forgive and forget. With the judgment card, this is definitely you looking over the past. It's like judgment day. You know, you're looking over the past and you're seeing where things have gone good, where they've gone bad. And this is, again, that heartbreak. Something here is meant to fix your vision. The Knight of Pentacles. So you could be turning pain into purpose right now. You could... Definitely be working on something new, going into a new project, new partnership, new relationship. You're planning now. The Seven of Wands is here, though. You definitely could be in this energy of protecting yourself, standing up for yourself. You could be blocking certain people, places, things, situations out. Yeah, the Ten of Wands, anything that has been a burden here. Or anything that you anticipate that may create some type of um, stress. It looks like you now are releasing that. The Ten of Wands sometimes can mean also too. Like this is a time for you to allow someone to, to help you. If you need it. The Hermit is here. So this. You definitely going within healing. And there's nothing wrong if you... Um, Decide that you need someone to assist you with that, you know, life coach, therapist, whatever. The three of wands here with the three of wands and the hermit and the king of swords, six of swords. Wow. Four of wands, four of swords. Strength for somebody here is this is the second rating I've gotten where someone here is absolutely overcoming a heartbreak. This is a heart chakra activation for somebody. Someone here has looked over the past, they realize now for sure that they do not want to repeat a cycle, they don't want to go back to the past, they don't want anything or anyone from their past, like someone here is ready to really go in a brand new direction. Judgment also is like the car of there being clarity, you having some type of awakening, becoming clear about your purpose. Someone here, this could be work, okay? Um, I was just saying like purpose and partnerships, but this is absolutely someone realizing what their purpose is after looking over something. You could be realizing that you left something or someone behind um, due to whatever type of challenge was presented. And maybe you're choosing now to revisit that because you know that it's your purpose. Maybe at the time, though, you just didn't really have the strength, um, the, the wisdom, the, the knowledge or the clarity in a certain situation to keep pushing forward, but it looks like that has changed because the Knight of Pentacles is here showing me that you're choosing now to become dedicated to something. Sorry. Seven of Wands. And you're fighting for what you want, for what you believe in. So this could be you fighting for like a change in your career, a business. You don't care what anyone has to say or, or what they think. You could be fighting for a relationship because on this card, you see there's a family here. Or this is just like, like I said, moving in a new direction, deciding. Ace of, Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. Someone is researching and developing. Here's the Ten of Swords too. It's like after a very painful ending, there's a brand new beginning. The Magician is here with the Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. So this is your someone walking away from anything that no longer serves them for sure. Just I feel like someone is really looking for more out of life. This could be going on a spiritual journey or someone's spiritual journey has finally led them to their actual purpose. And now it's like whatever someone has been very faithful and dedicated to, it's about to manifest in a big way with the magician and the three of pentacles here. 
This is someone who is a someone is about to receive rewards and recognition for something that they've been dedicated to working on. I'm seeing like a lot of progression here. Three of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles. There's a lot of forward movement, a lot of per, like progress coming, especially in business and finances. Ten of Swords, Eight of Cups, and this comes after someone chose to leave something behind. A situation that did bring some type of sadness. Could have been a betrayal. There could have been, um, you know, some type of betrayal even in the workplace. Or there could have been a group. Could have been someone, there was a group effort and betraying you in some type of way. Balance, wow. And the high priestess, whoo. Powerful energy. That's temperance and the high priestess. Someone has absolutely discovered their purpose. And you're allowing your intuition to guide you. This is someone for sure on some type of spiritual quest. Going into a period of, of real self-discovery. And it, it looks like someone like your, your job, your soul family is coming in, your job. Everything around you now is related to your purpose. Someone here, you could um, be choosing to work as an influencer because it just seems like your partnerships, your friendships, your family, everything that you do is tied to your purpose or you're making it your purpose. So for some of you, your purpose is to actually share your life in some way. The magician, the temperance, and the high priestess. <laughs> I mean... How else can you say um, Earth Angel, Temperance, High Priestess, and the Magician? And I had a reading like this a few days where it's like someone here, like this um, psychic, prophet, high priestess, earth angel, magician, healer, light worker, whatever you're doing, you're about to receive a lot of rewards and recognition though for, for this. You could be guiding other people, teaching them or showing them how to walk away from things. This is interesting because even myself on yesterday, I shared a personal testimony. That's my first time ever really sharing like my own personal testimony on the channel. And I was very shocked at how so many people had so many comments and were sharing so much. It definitely made me feel a real sense of community. That's what I'm, I'm picking up from this reading. There's a lot of you who are, are learning that you're, you're not alone, that you do have a soul family. You do have a tribe. There are people like you. I saw some people saying, oh, I'm so weird. Like, no, you're not weird. You're just unique. And there's a lot of people who will embrace you for that. With the Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, it's like, yeah, you're you're going to learn how to team up and collaborate with other people. Um, yeah, you're going to be recognized for something. And you're going to have a really good reputation. There is a lot of abundance coming in. You could be providing like this, a wise counsel to someone or even a group. But this is for sure like a career opportunity that comes in. And the way the cards are, it's sort of like past, present, future for some of you. So in the past, it was judgment. Ten of swords. So there is some type of karma that has, has been <laughs> built. Wow. Okay. Page of swords. This is you seeking clarity about a new situation. You can have a secret admirer. I see the Knight of Cups here. Some of you, again, if you, or especially if you are in social media or you have a platform, you could have someone who is watching you or monitoring you or planning to come in with an offer or an opportunity to do something that is emotionally fulfilling. You could find yourself just like completely swept off of your feet by the communication that you're receiving from a person or a group. Okay. And it doesn't have to be romantic. The Knight of Cups usually does speak of someone coming in with a romantic offer, but I see the Knight of Cups is just something that's coming in and it's giving you emotional fulfillment. It feels like it's going to really lift your spirits, whatever this is. And with the Page of Swords, it's some type of information or clarity, 
paperwork, documents, something that's coming in. He has a hermit. Some of you, if you if you have been in hermit mode, the four of pentacles here, sort of like building in silence, not sharing much, like you've been, you know, sticking to yourself. It's time for you to come out of hermit mode. It, someone is going to come in and encourage you, though. This, this card says, seek out or become a spiritual mentor. So for some of you, there's a person coming towards you. And they, they may have a love for self-discovery or art, poetry, something that, you know, is creative. This may sort of get you out of your shell. It may inspire you to... Um, Start sharing your, your creative talents and abilities. The Four of Pentacles is here and the Six of Pentacles. So with the Hermit and the Four of Pentacles, maybe you have just kind of been off the grid, saving your money, not really giving or, or sharing. <laughs> the Six of Pentacles is, is here, though. That's going to change. You're going to start receiving good things back for whatever you've done. Queen of Wands is out here. There's a need for you to be very um, charismatic, like bold, ambitious. Yeah, the will is here. That hermit to the Queen of Wands, you, you have to come out of hermit mode. You're being asked to come out of hermit mode so that you can share what you've, what you've learned. But you're, this is going to require you to... Um, Really believe in yourself. This is a lot of very strong manifestation powers here. It's, it's all coming at you sort of at, at once. I just saw the Ten of Cups, the Four of Wands. Here's the King of Cups and the Dreamer. Uh, and the Five of Swords. Okay. Some of you, unfortunately... You sort of been hiding yourself um, because of a particular person. This Knight of Cups that's coming in, though, okay, I'm saying a lot of stuff. For some of you, this heartbreak is somebody came in and you thought that it was going to be like a new beginning and you you realize that you feel bad because if you were in hermit mode and this person came into your life, this turned out to be, and I did hear the word situationship before, this situationship, it didn't go the way that you wanted it to. You thought this person would be trustworthy, but you came to realize that this person was like lacking integrity. And you may have shared with, shared something with this person. For some of you, you could be having um, regrets about this. You could have tried to start a business with someone and you shared some ideas with them about a business because there's a lot of pentacles out here. Or you could have even felt like someone in your workplace, like they stole your ideas or they didn't value your opinion or something like that here. But also I'm getting with this Knight of Cups, King of Cups and the Hermit. You also have someone coming in who is possibly trying to advise you that maybe you made an unwise decision in the past. Someone is trying to come in now to show you that you can you can still be happy. It's your life after after death, it's your transformation. This is like a, even like a spirit guide, the Hermit and the King of Cups that's coming in, letting you know that you've already faced some type of judgment. Like you don't really have to beat yourself up about something that maybe you had regrets about. Yeah, the dreamer, because you have a brand new opportunity, a brand new beginning here. There's a new start. And if you've sort of been hiding in Hermit mode because you feel like you made an unwise choice in the past, because you got caught up with someone who was lacking integrity, or maybe you did something at some point, you know. Um, 
that you regret. It's like now it's time for you to push your, your fears aside and trust yourself. I, I really feel like for some of you, there's a, um, there's a very helpful person or energy here. This could be a, like a spirit guide. Yeah, the sun. Exactly. This is nothing negative. The sun here and then release. Something is coming in and it's, it brings you a lot of happiness, a lot of joy, a lot of peace. And that joy, that peace, that happiness is leading to a lot of success. Because you're going to feel very nurtured. You're going to finally have someone that, that is in your life that you can completely trust. This could for sure be like a lover or like I said, it's a like a spirit guide. It could for some of you be be both. Like you're getting a spirit guide as well as like a new lover. It feels almost like you're getting a new lover and a spirit guide at the same time. You kind of need this spirit guide to assist you with with trusting this new connection or this new partnership because it's been very hard for you to release something. There's a, a, a death, there's an ending here that's leading to a new beginning and you may need spiritual assistance to teach you how to actually navigate through this situation. This is good though, whatever it is. So it's like you're getting like a, a mentor. You're getting like a, a spiritual mentor as well as like a life partner. You're getting both. Wow. I can... <laughs> oh Look at this. You have the Nine of Cups, the Ace of Cups. Here's the Ten of Cups. And behind that is the Dreamer. So you have a brand new start here. Nine of Cups, Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups. Wow. with the dreamer. So you go from an ending right into a brand new beginning. So this is this is karmic justice. Whatever happened in the past, it's over. You're literally, you're getting a new... This is like some kind of ascended master or something that's coming in to assist you. Ace of Cups, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups. Heavy emphasis on like a water sign masculine. They don't have to be. You have here Aries, the Fool, and the King of Pentacles. Wow. At the bottom of the deck though here is the Queen of Cups. So there's a pair here, a Queen and King of Cups, who are being given like a, a new opportunity. This person is coming in to let you know that there's a better way to do love. There's a better way to do life. There's a better way to do business. They're teaching you. You can do you should do business and do life with people who you don't have to question their motives or their intentions. This is something here you don't have to question it. Wow, look at this. Hangman of the four of wands. I'm telling you. You don't have to question it. Someone is going through an awakening here. After some type of timeout or separation, somebody is seeing things in a whole new light. And especially with the hermit being here and the hangman, this is definitely somebody went inward and and I must like really took accountability for making some type of mistake. Or somebody has been told that by taking a leap of faith in a new business, a new partnership, that it will be a mistake. Someone went within themselves and they realized that, no, it won't be a mistake. They're seeing things in a whole new light. I definitely feel, yeah, somebody out here tries to tell someone that, you know, you shouldn't go into their connection or their partnership. That may be a, a, wise, a wise choice for you to make. Somebody took time out for themselves to really think about this situation and they began to reflect on what has happened to them in the past, what's currently happening, and they start to think about what they are manifesting. Magician, temperance, and the high priest is someone here, seven of wands, they're standing up for themselves saying, no, this is what I want. The four of wands and the sun. Somebody's like, yeah, 
I, I know that this is what I want. The last reading that I just posted, literally somebody has realized that someone is their life partner. And you may feel that this person is being deceptive or they're betraying you because you are used to that type of energy or behavior. This is someone who is literally receiving a confirmation about their life partner and their life purpose and they're planning everything around it. I remember I said before, like someone could be um, thinking about being like an influencer. So everything that they do, someone here is becoming um, very conscious about the things that they do. Someone is, is falling into conviction about any type of unwise choices or any type of like fake people or whatever, because someone wants their life to be like their ministry. So that means who they hang around, where they go, what they do, what they say, their life partner, their friends, their family. Someone is stepping completely into their purpose. Knight of Swords, yeah. And I feel like this epiphany just came about rather suddenly almost. But someone is extremely, like, Knight of Swords is someone being driven, determined. <clears throat> Somebody is, is busting right out of any type of unfair situation. The Five of Wands and Justice, it doesn't matter what type of conflict or chaos is here. Something is 100% unstoppable. But there's definitely been a lot of opposing opinions and forces. Someone is walking away from all drama. They're standing up for themselves, becoming very ambitious. They've already made a decision to put an end to something and to have equal give and take in a situation. So like I said, this could be someone leaving behind a job, choosing to really go on their own path as an entrepreneur, or someone is, is choosing to leave everything behind, family, friends, or whatever. Knight of Wands, you have a lot of passion, a lot of drive, a lot of passion, a lot of determination. To find the strength to come out of heartbreak to allow this transformation in their life to happen. Wow. Wow. And here's the page of pentacles and the star. It's a brand new beginning. Yeah. Somebody was, was expecting the worst at first, but here's the Ace of Wands and the Eight of Wands. Whatever this is, it's coming really, really fast. The Three of Cups. There's a, a celebration, an opportunity, an offer, a relationship. Something is coming in fast because someone had to dig really, really deep to overcome some type of heartbreak or pain. It was a major spiritual transformation. And now someone is ready to get to work. Someone is ready now to start building the star, like their future. Someone is ready to um, I've heard, put in, put down roots after allowing like stress, fear, and anxiety to get the best of them. This could have been a spiritual attack, but now the Eight of Wands to the Ace of Wands, someone is is quickly going towards like an amazing opportunity. But this is an, an opportunity. It requires you to be very bold. But it's leading to a big celebration. Mm. Okay. Look at this. Bottom of this deck, leadership. So somebody's going into leadership. Oh my gosh. And you have here the star and the phoenix underneath it. And it says fragmented. The picture is incomplete. I feel like some wow, marriage. Okay, yeah. I was about to say, I feel like someone, I'm hearing that, um, what's that song? I'm going to need you to say something. This was all I, kn I knew, you and me only. I'm gonna need you to say something. Somebody here is moving into leadership. Like I said, somebody could be a, um, an influencer. They could be coming into more 
um, abundance, more popularity, or whatever. But it feels like someone here is rising from the ashes with the phoenix here. Somebody is coming out of heartbreak. They're coming out of despair. They want a second chance. They want to redeem themselves. Someone just feels like they're the picture of their life without you is fragmented. Someone here has like, th th there is a split in a person's energy where I feel like somebody here is about to receive like a big, big opportunity, but they can't, they can't stop thinking about love. Somebody here is making it big in something or as they're building, they're like, I want to take this person that's been by my side with me. But somebody is absolutely coming into some type of influence. I, I, again, somebody here may be an influencer, a, a businessman, a businesswoman. They're stepping into leadership or whatever. And a person who is a leader usually makes like heart over, I mean, I'm sorry, head over heart decisions. So someone who at some point as they were climbing a certain ladder, Maybe they were like, you know, I really don't need to focus on love. Someone's heart is opening out and they're like, wow. They they really want to pursue a connection with someone. Now, this could be someone from your past or for some of you, this is someone that's in your life. And, you know, it could be a situation where both of you are super goal oriented or career oriented. You've been, you know, working really, really hard. You could be in school um, trying to finish the degree, search, whatever it is. But somebody is like, man, I, this doesn't feel right without that person that was always there beside me. Someone keeps feeling a split in their energy. It's, it's like, it's, yeah, this is good, but I can't enjoy it without my best friend. I can't enjoy it, you know, without the person that I know I really want to be with. That's what this feels like. But someone's life is completely changing and upgrading. Look at that birth. It's a brand. It's something brand new. You have here marriage and birth. That's a cute little baby's foot. I'm getting a lot of love, a lot of fertility, a lot of pregnancy today. This is someone reinventing themselves, though, birth. Someone is going through a rebirth. They're completely reinventing themselves for new opportunities. And it's going to bring the birth of, like, a, a project, an idea, a business, possibly a child, but someone here has already decided that when they get to wherever they are going, and they're pretty certain that they're well on their way to getting there, that there is someone they want with them. And it's interesting because you have the balance card here, which is like two becoming one with the high priestess and the magician. So this could be a partnership where someone is very intuitive and someone is a very powerful manifester. These two people are coming together. A high priestess is one who, you know, usually is, um, how do people say it? <laughs> Barely seen, but always noticed. You know, a high priestess carries a certain energy, but they're much like the hermit. They're not really out. A magician is someone who has tools and resources. You know, a lot of times when you meet people who have a lot of resources, they have a lot of connections. They could be very popular. These two people coming together could be different, but they balance one another perfectly. A magician and a high priestess, that's the one who has tools and resources, but then you have a high priestess that has the intel, the intuition, the wisdom, and the knowledge to tell you how to use the tools and resources. If this is not about a partnership for some of you, this is simply you balancing your own energies, like tapping into your feminine high priestess energy, intuition, and your magician masculine energy, like 100%. And it's pushing you now into like this major rebirth. And you could have had like a, a split this fragmented energy for a long time because there was some type of heartbreak. I'm I'm picking that up really, really strongly. Some of you may have for a long time thought that a person was going to be in your life and they're no longer there. It doesn't even have to be a lover. It could be a friend, a, a friend or a family member. You could have unfortunately like lost someone. Someone could have transitioned and you're someone here. It's like, wow, I'm really going to prove, you know, that, that I'm a leader. But it's like whatever was lost is being restored. Someone is 
finding their their true passion in everything. This is just like a story, literally, of this rising phoenix, this star. Like you're going into leadership, wealth, fame, wish fulfillment, a lot of you know blessings, opportunities. And this could be, like I said, after you realize that um, you had something in your energy that wasn't right. Wow. Business. Okay. Confirmation. Some of you are starting some kind of online business, which could be, like I said, somebody here wants to be possibly an influencer. Or you have an e-commerce business or you're about to start marketing, advertising, photography, whatever it is. This is something with your career. Heavy emphasis on someone just completely rebranding themselves. You could this could lead to you relocating, you purchasing a home, car, um, you know, a property, a, a brick and mortar business, a space. Like you could have an online business, and now it's about you're about to go and get a warehouse or a space or whatever it is. It's a major trans like transformation here. After a time of you feeling like everything was up in the air, divine timing is here now and it's bringing a lot of good fortune and luck to you. It's like this happiness is so unexpected. It's been hidden. Hidden. Yeah, look. You have your hidden mountain and karmic cycle, contracts, third party, sadness, burnout. Yeah. You, you had something in your life or around you that was draining. It was sucking the life out of you. And so for a long time, everything was up in the air. Wow, this is like a this is something being eclipsed out. Whatever this interference is in your business, in your relationships, someone watching you, monitoring you, stalking you, or whatever it is, like yeah, the hidden there's like a hidden enemy or something that's been here creating a lot of obstacles and challenges for you. This could be a, a past life karmic or just some type of karmic pattern, a mindset, whatever it is, though. It, it was a karmic contract of some sort that led to a lot of disappointment and regret. That's why I said situationship. So some of you, this could have been like a, you know, a karmic relationship or counterfeit hidden enemy or something. But this was causing you burnout because... You may have con continuously been wondering, like, were you supposed to do something or you couldn't seem to get your footing? You could have been in a situation where it's been just all work, no play. You've been trying really, really hard to learn something new. It's time for you to come out now, though. Yeah, you learned from the past. A situation where you were going around and around and around with it. It's over. So this, this is a karmic cycle that's completely over. You're going through rebranding, a rebirth, a transformation. I, mean, I can't say this enough. Like, this is really amazing. Um, let me see. Comes out. So huge, huge career opportunities, risk, and perfection. So you're going to have to have the courage to face fear and uncertainty. This card says the odds are better than you think. Progress, not perfection. Give up your perfectionism. It's causing delays in your finances. You will never get ahead if you don't overcome the fear of failure. You are enough and you have what it takes to improve your finances. Wow, you're independent. Here's this growing up. Ask for help. Stability. Someone here, it's been hard for someone to take a leap of faith. 
because there's obviously been something or someone in your life that has or like I say, programming or conditioning. Maybe it's been hard for you to get something off the ground because you needed help, but you were too prideful or afraid to ask for help out of fear of rejection or, or failure, whatever the case is. But stability, it, it, something here is about to be really, really good. This also, too, going back to possible um, a possible partnership. Someone out here could be very independent and they're very stuck on like perfectionism. It's time to grow up and realize that it's okay for something to not be perfect. And if you need to ask for help, for tools and resources, again, it's balancing the magician and the high priestess energy. For some of you, this is about a partnership. For some of you, this is just about you. Recognizing a, another facet of yourself that has been hidden and it hasn't allowed you to reach this level of success that you're about to have. Risk. Wow, look. Risk and luck. And I say you need to get out. Networker, you got to go out. It may be time for you to start reaching out to people, creating a community. Some of you may want to get into, it says marketing, promotion, sales, or a, prof that's what I'm saying, like online business though, this marketing. Digital marketing, digital media, advertising, sales, online, e-commerce, trading, whatever this is. You feel like this is risky, but it's a good risk for you to take it this time because it's, it's divine timing. It's time for you to do this. You probably had someone around you though that was very envious, that was possibly, you know, purposely trying to give you bad advice. You have here the parenthood card. You know, well, you have parenthood comfort and unethical. Some of you have a parent that's very unethical or the father or mother of your children, someone that you had a, a um, relationship with before could have done a lot of unethical things and you're just now um, getting to a place of comfort again, but it has required you to completely change your life. So some of you could have had a, a really nasty breakup or divorce, um, custody battle, and now you're, possibly, you're starting a business, things are going well, whatever this online business is, or it's going to allow you to spend more time with your children if you have children, of course. So you'll be comfortable. You know, it's not about you being rich. It's about you just being comfortable. Not having to stress. It says he'll work hard in silence. Yeah. So there's a, a mistake that was possibly made in the past. And this could have been you getting in a relationship or a partnership that left someone very unsure about what to do and it has created a lot of fear around taking a risk but it's like someone here is going to either enter your life or you're going to partner with someone and the two of you are going to be able to like right these wrongs whichever one of you went through something in the past you're going to have an opportunity to to help Work hard in silence. And then you have your denial and legal. Yeah. So there's some type of legal situation here. Someone could have had to face like a lawsuit. Like I said, divorce, custody, tax issues, whatever. You also could receive some money from some type of legal situation or inheritance. Again, as I said before, someone could have transitioned or they will. This could lead to some type of um, financial blessing, which, you know, may lead to you making an investment in something. It says to work hard in silence and denial. If you've been putting up a, a front about how you make money, it's time for you to remove that mask. Somebody out here is definitely... Um, 
a perfectionist and very independent. It, it feels like that fake it till you make it type of energy. Either this is you or someone that you are connected to. It's time for someone to really, really like walk the talk. Like you need to have it like you say you have it, you know? <laughs> or if someone is like an influencer, perhaps it looks like they're very stable and secure, but they're not. But maybe something is about to change or you're about to find out that someone who looks to be very stable and secure you know, online or whatever, this person could be very jealous and envious and they also could be getting caught up now in a legal situation for something that they've been doing that is unethical. So that's probably what has been in the background. This is this has to do with some type of karma. You, um, a person that you could have children with or whatever, or just from some of you, a partnership, someone here who was envious of you and unethical, who pretended to be your friend, pretended to be someone who will come in and help you. This person is about to fall into some legal issues. And that's karma. You may have taken a risk to work with this person. They have may have asked you for help. You got kind of caught up in the crossfires of whatever this situation is. But something here is about to pan out for you. Where you now are about to take a risk and start networking with people. If you need help, you'll be able to receive help. You just have luck on your side. So this is just judgment. That was the first card that came out though, judgment. So whoever has been jealous, envious, and creating problems for you in the background, they are gonna have some legal issues that they will have to tend to. That's gonna keep them busy. They won't have time to watch and monitor you. They won't have time to watch and monitor you. <laughs> And this is going to finally give you that leg up for you to grow, advance, rebrand, reopen, reconsider decisions, you know, have a rebirth or whatever it is that you want to do. And it's going to be successful. Look, manifestation power. Base chakra and integrity is here. It says align your actions so they match your values and inner knowingness of what's right for you. So you guys, now you're choosing to make sure that you um, you cross all your, you dot all your I's and cross your T's, especially when it comes to partnerships. And we are in Mercury Retrograde right now, so make sure that you are reviewing paperwork and contracts. But I feel like you have an enemy for sure that thought they were getting over. They didn't read the fine print, and now it's about to catch up to them. You have your base chakra. It says, choose only positive thoughts to describe your home, career, and finances as your words determine your outcome. And then manifestation power. Use your spiritual gifts and natural abilities to attract your desired outcome. So this is literally, it, it's a confirmation again. The magician out here, temperance, and the high priestess. Your intuition is what's going to really guide you to the truth about what you need to do when it comes to your manifestations. And this is you manifesting your desired outcomes in your home, career, and finances, as well as your partnerships. Yeah, and at the bottom of the deck is just release. Work with Archangel Michael to let go of what no longer serves you or your purpose. Whoever this hidden enemy is or whatever, yeah, continue to shield yourself from this person. Friend, family member, lover, whatever, sh shield yourself. Shield and clear yourself. If you have a person around you, even that's not a risk taker, they're really, really um, stuck in like a, a fear-based type of energy while you're manifesting, you need to shield yourself. You, you, you know, don't, don't surround yourself with people who are afraid of a new start. You're pro profoundly clairvoyant. You are an earth angel and a light worker. So some of you are going into spiritual businesses, light work of some some kind. So you have to let go of people who are going to judge, criticize, try and condemn or convict you for different things, your beliefs. You know what your mission is. For some of you, you could be, um, even here in the spiritual community, someone has possibly been trying to block you. That person is going to be bound by their own legal situation. This could even be someone that you could file a suit 
on by taking legal action, especially if they try to assassinate your character, they stolen something from you. Um, some of you definitely you could take legal action with this situation. But it says, trust what you see in your mind's eye, as well as with your physical sight. See, the magician is physical, high priestess, this, you know, intuition. This is you balancing the two. It says, you are a light worker who has come to earth to teach about love. And it is safe for you to be powerful. Your spiritual power brings great blessings and loving service to the divine. Earth Angel, Light Worker, Clairvoyant. So you have a very powerful ability to manifest things in this in this in the spirit realm as well as in the physical. You just need to shield yourself from the things in your environment at this time. Yeah. Pink diamond. This is a very rare opportunity. It's like a one of kind, one of a kind opportunity or a one of a kind type of love. It's something very unique. This card says wealth and prosperity. You're about to just embark upon a journey or a relationship or partnership that's going to bring you all types of blessings and abundance. And it's because you're in your purpose. That's what I'm saying. Once you get into your purpose, like your North Node. You're going to get the right friends. You're going to get, you know, your some some people's friends become family. Um, family members who shouldn't be around you, they're going to just kind of fall to the wayside. You could reconnect with certain family members, but you're going to be able to go out in the community and start to attract like-minded people. Opportunities are going to be presented to you. People are going to reach out to you, you know, for products or services if you have that. You may start... You know, if you're on LinkedIn, you'll get more hits on LinkedIn. Like, stuff is just going to start flowing to you. But there is absolutely something that has been in the background that's being removed. And to be honest with you, as powerful as this energy is, we can thank the eclipse. But for some of you, these are like actual hexes and curses that are being broken. This is a lot of energy coming in all at once. So there was obviously something there, some type of principality or entity of some sort that was blocking you. Something did not want you in the light working space. 